how are you? I'm Harvey, the educator here at the Augusta Museum of History. I was just taking Skelly's here heartbeat with my, with my super cool stethoscope. So you might notice we're in a little bit of a different place today. We're in our Community That Heals exhibit where we talk all about medical history of Augusta. So we talk about the doctors, the nurses, the hospitals, and the instruments that help keep us well. I'll let you explore the galleries a little bit and then join me for a story time where we'll be reading Busy People Doctor. Doctor, are you gonna join me for story time? I think he said yes. All right, see you in a little bit. Hi everyone, I'm glad you joined me again. Did you have fun exploring our galleries? All right, well, let's get to it. I have a book here about what it means to be a doctor. Let's get started. Doctor by Ando Twin and Lucy M. George. When people are sick or hurt, Dr. Miranda helps them feel better. She works in a doctor's office. Good morning, doctor, says the receptionist. You have lots of people to see. It's going to be a busy day today. Dr. Miranda's first patient has a swollen ankle. Oh dear, Olivia, may I take a look? Asks Dr. Miranda gently. She feels Olivia's leg and ankle, asking her where it hurts the most. Dr. Miranda thinks Olivia needs an x-ray. She tells Olivia's mommy to take her to the hospital. Just to check that nothing is broken, says Dr. Miranda. 
Next, Dr. Miranda gives twin babies their shots, examines a boy with chicken pox, checks a pregnant woman's blood pressure, and listens to a man's chest with her stethoscope. It's been a very busy morning already. Now Dr. Miranda has to call patients who were too sick to leave home. She asks them questions and then decides how to help them. Dr. Miranda is about to eat lunch when the receptionist enters and says, can you see one more patient this morning, doctor? Jimmy has just arrived at the doctor's office for an emergency appointment. His daddy explains that he has a cough and a high temperature, oh no. Dr. Miranda asks whether Jimmy has a rash or any other symptoms. No, he's just been sleeping a lot today, haven't you, Jimmy? His daddy asks. Dr. Miranda takes Jimmy's temperature with the thermometer. Then she looks in his ears with an otoscope. Say, ah, she tells Jimmy. Ah, Jimmy says, opening his mouth wide. Then she looks at the back of his throat using a special stick. Next, Dr. Miranda asks, asks Jimmy to sit on the bed and take off his sweater. Dr. Miranda listens carefully to Jimmy's chest using a stethoscope. It feels, it feels cold and it tickles. Dr. Miranda thinks Jimmy has a chest infection. She writes him a prescription for some medicine and asks him to come back in a few days if he's not better. You should feel well again soon, she tells him waving goodbye. Thank you, doctor, says Jimmy. Dr. Miranda checks the, her afternoon schedule with the receptionist. What a busy day it's been. Dr. Miranda has, ju has just has to make one more call before she can go out for, for lunch. Whew. What else does Dr. Miranda do? Makes house calls, sends people to the hospital if they need more care, gives shots to keep people from getting sick, gives people their test results. What does Dr. Miranda need? A stethoscope, a computer, a prescription pad, tongue depressors, an otoscope, a thermometer, and a telephone. Other busy people. Here are some of the other people, busy people doctors worked with. Receptionists make appointments, get test results from the hospital, and look after patient records. Pharmacists are highly trained and know all about medicines. They fill prescriptions and also give health advice. Nurses bandage, scrapes, and cuts, give health advice, take blood for tests, and treat other non-serious ailments. Ambulance drivers take people who are very sick or injured to the hospital so they can see a doctor quickly. The end. Well, that was very informative. What do you think? Do you want to be a doctor or maybe a pharmacist or a receptionist? Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this Monday at the museum as much as I did. Thank you so much for coming. I've enjoyed having you. Bye. See you next time. Oh, and I've linked below the instructions on how to make your very own stethoscope. A few of these are available for purchase so you can buy the kit and make your own or you can just make it with things you have lying around the house.